epsilon positive. It's zero. So then, because the distance between two points is zero, the points must be the same by the property of the metric. Okay? Could also do it that way. That's in fact what I have in my notes, but since you guys came up with it, uh, we'll, uh, that's good. Okay, uh, we've already established B. What about C? If it converges, is it bounded? Well, uh, how, many, how many of you thought the answer was true? Okay, the trues, are, the trues have it. Can you see why? Follows from what? From F. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's, let's, let's at least give a hint as to why C is true. So the pictures go something like this. It converges. And um, it converges to, let's say, some point here, P, yes? And for any epsilon, blah, 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 there's a point beyond which all the points are inside, yes? So do you see why it's the sequence has to be bounded? Past the 47th position, they're all in this ball. So how many other points are there? 46. Finitely many. Okay. So uh, that's basically the idea. Um, yeah, so just use uh, epsilon equal 1. Then there exists an n. Why? Pn converges to p. So there exists an n uh, such that little n bigger than big n implies the distance from Pn to P is less than 1. I just chose 1. Okay. Oh, great. So then let R be the maximum of 1 and the distance from P to P1 through the distance from P to Pn minus 1. That's good enough, right? Ah, thank you. Big, big N. Minus one if you want, but if I throw in that last one, it won't matter. Still a maximum, okay? Uh, and I can take the maximum because this is a finite set. You don't need to write that anymore. People are okay. You'll, it's enough to just realize that, okay? Now, you do need to point it out if, for instance, this wasn't finite, then you'd have to justify why this is maximum or why or say it's a supremum or something, right? Okay. Great. So then what? This is it. All points. So all Pn are in this ball of radius big R around little p. Done. Happy with that? Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see about the others here. D, true or false? Uh, BR, uh, it should be an open ball. Okay, yeah, so let's, I see you're, where you're going with this. Meh. How's that? Excellent, thank you. Uh, the, the, the worry was that one of these points would sit on the boundary. Okay. Okay, great. D, if a sequence converges to P, does that mean it's a limit point of the range? How many people say true? How many people say false? Well, it's false. Thank you, Adam. Why is it false? Uh, excellent. OK. If, it, if it's sitting on top, it can't be its own limit point of its range. Okay. So th while the, the concepts are related, they're not exactly the same, right? Convergence, P is a limit point of the Pn, but P is not a limit point of the range of Pn. Okay? P is a limit of Pn. Limits and limit points are different concepts, but related. Why are they related? Look at the other condition uh, statement, E, true or false? It's true, turns out. Why? If P is a limit point, 
Well, let's just look at this picture. Suppose p is a limit point of this sequence. Sorry, suppose p is a limit point of this set, E. Tell me how I find a sequence that, that uh, converges to p. How about pick a ball of radius a half? And then there's a point inside, yes? Then take a ball of radius what? A third, take a point. A fourth, point. Fifth, point. Do you see this, these points have to converge to p? So choose pn in a ball of radius 1 over n around p. Uh, choose a sequence of pn. And then pn converges to p. And then we're, that's, uh, we're in good shape. Okay? I'll let you justify that, but I'm sure you can do that now. It, it follows easily from how we chose the points. Okay? Good, good exercise. I'd like you to, to do that. Okay, what about f? True or false? If pn converges to p, then every neighborhood of p contains all but finitely many points. True. Um, do you see this picture? Sort of gives the idea. Everything's in a ball, and then everything else is out. So that's certainly true. So let's label this. It's enough to see why this, this forward direction is true because of smiley. It turns out the reverse direction is also true. Why is the reverse direction true? If every neighborhood contains all but finally an APN, I claim that means that, it, that, the, that they converge. PN converges to P. Why is that? Well, you have to find me a big N for every epsilon. Yeah, so basically, uh, look, if, if, if it contains all but P1 through P47, then what? I'll let N be 47. Okay. So this, uh, this means that uh, the converse is also true. Okay? Um, I, I won't write that down, but, um, uh, but think about it and see the book if you want uh, it written down carefully. I'd encourage you to just write it down yourself. All right? Okay, so we've talked a lot about sequences, and what I want to do next time is we want to talk about sequences in R or in Rn. What can we say about uh, their convergence. For instance, you take a limit of a sequence. In R, you can talk about summing two sequences. Is the limit of a sum the sum of the limits? There's a natural question. Is the limit of a product of sequences the product of the limits? These are uh, questions we'll begin to tackle next time. Okay?